I'll be a suck egg mule. With a need to lead you when the light goes green Best believe I'm in the zone to be From a yin to a yang to a yang to see Put a grin on my chin, come to me Cause I'll win, I'm one of a kind And I'll bring death to the place you're about to be Another river of blood running under my feet Forged in a fire that long ago Stand next to me, you'll never stand alone I'm last to leave, but the first to go Hardcore is the only way I know Do you believe that allowing LGBT Americans to serve in the military or women in combat is undermining our lethality? Uh, frankly, Senator, I've never cared much about two consenting adults and who they go to bed with. Coming up this season on The Real Housewives of ISIS. It's only three days till the beheading. And I've got no idea what I'm going to wear. Thanks, to friend. see Russians happy because Trump won on election night, I never saw you so unhappy. You pick sides. Everybody picks sides. Pick sides. That's not true, Rick. Oh, That's sides, just right? not true. And let's, 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 let's get back to the facts here. Get over it. you have to do is actually burn the flag, don't stand up, don't put your hand, those are the things that make it more American. You're an idiot. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. It said basically this is the beginning of the end for Trump. The beginning of the end. The beginning of the end? This is probably starting of the beginning of the end for, for Donald Trump. Donald, uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. The strongest person usually isn't the loudest one in the room. So right now we have Hillary's about a 75 or an 80 percent favorite. We have different versions of the forecast you can look at. The poll has Hillary Clinton up by double digits nationally, 12 points, 50 to 38, four-way race. Clinton leading in Florida, Clinton leading in North Carolina, Clinton leading in Ohio, Clinton leading in Nevada. I could go on and on and on. Uh, I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president, all right? It's been fun. It's been great. I love you. What? What? But come on, come on, buddy. We have a major projection right now. Donald Trump will take Ohio. That's it. I project Donald Trump will carry the state of Florida. Huge win for Donald Trump. Donald Trump, while uh, we project, will win in Kentucky, in Indiana, with its 11 electoral votes. West Virginia, Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, North Dakota, uh, with its three electoral votes, and South Dakota, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, the state of Montana, North Carolina, Georgia, Iowa, Utah, Wisconsin, Arizona, Kansas, with its six electoral votes, Nebraska, with its five electoral votes, and Wyoming, with its three electoral votes. Sorry to keep you waiting, complicated business. I think we need more award shows. I just can't get enough of watching smug liberals give awards to other smug liberals for excellence in smug liberalism. <laughs> and the front and the golden frog leg for excellence in ridiculing pompous liberals goes to me. Oh my goodness. I wanna thank all the little people. And Trump's the devil! <laughs> but on a more serious note, I'm teaching my dog how to order pizza. So the new Democrat slogan for this Obamacare stuff is Make America Sick Again. Well, it's hard to believe they lost the election with such thought-provoking arguments like that, huh? In other news, Megyn Kelly's on her way to NBC. So apparently Obama calls up Putin and says, we need to settle this stuff once and for all man to man. And Putin says, okay, Brock, you're right. Putting Michelle on the phone. <laughs> 
and welcome to Intellectual Frog Legs. Liberals are the most intolerant, pissed off people in the world. And it's not just this past election. They're mad even when they win. Remember when they won their big Supreme Court case? The gay marriage stuff? They had just achieved one of the holy grails of liberalism, gay marriage. And you'd think they'd be just so happy and gay, maybe? <laughs> but no, it's like, now let's throw the Christian bitch in jail. Make us a cake. Christian. <laughs> the iron fist of love and intolerance. Thank God these mental patients are no longer going to be in charge. But I'm telling you, you just look. They're not taking this losing power thing very well. Just look at this Russia hacked our election narrative. Truly, truly one of the most ridiculous propaganda offenses in modern U.S. history. Well, we'll see. Part of the problem here is the philosophy of, of your left-wing icons like Alinsky and Goebbels was repeat a lie often enough and the people will believe it. Well, 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 what's happened here is that our media has been doing this for so long and they've gotten so good at it, they're starting to believe their own hyperbole. How about that word? Hyperbole. <laughs> and they had everything in place. Uh, they had the vast majority of the media was under Democrat control. Uh, we had the Justice Department. We had the president. They were convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that a Republican ass would never again sit in the Oval Office. But a funny thing happened on the way to Hillary's coronation. Donald Trump came in and kicked all their asses. <laughs> and there's an old Ayn Rand quote that is so appropriate here. We can ignore reality, but we cannot ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. And the liberals are seeing their consequences are that a Donald Trump is about to discover where they've been hiding the bodies. He's going to discover their dirty little, well, their big dirty little secrets. That's why we're seeing such a mass conniption fit over Russia. And Obama, this dude's melting down more than anybody. He sent troops to the Russian border, expelled Russian diplomats, all before the intelligence community re re even released their official report. Can you no, give I'm us not going to give you a can question. You, I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. And I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. But, but everybody's talking about all this hacking. The Russia's hacking us, we're hacking them, and we're hacking Germany, and Germany's hacking France, and I mean, everybody's hacking everybody. It's like a big digital orgy. <laughs> but the problem here is, is, is not who's hacking who, but our cybersecurity. And you know how you can ensure 100% cybersecurity? You can't. It's impossible. It's constantly evolving. So I don't blame Donald Trump for talking about going back to sending messages via courier. You know, one of my favorite moments of 2016 was actually during the, that nasty primary when all the, the liberal mental patients and their protesters and their media they thought they had blocked Trump from speaking at a rally in the San Francisco area. Y'all remember that? But Trump would not be denied. Well, 
one guy said, I just watched a 69-year-old billionaire walk across the highway, the median, to get in to earn my vote. Well, he just earned it. <laughs> the Trump's tough, man. He's tough. That was not the easiest entrance I've ever made. My wife called. She said, there are helicopters following you, and we did, and then we went under a fence and through a fence, and... Oh, boy, it felt like I was crossing the border, actually. You know? It's true. And then this Russia thing. You remember when Obama mocked Trump, uh, there's no way the elections could be hacked. There is no serious person out there who would suggest somehow that you could even, you could even rig America's elections. But then, Hillary lost. <laughs> Never mind what I said. He said a black Messiah is gonna set the world on fire. And when you hear Obama's got a 57% approval rating, ask for a breathalyzer. <laughs> uh-uh. No. They never called me. Anyway, but you know it's how Obama tries to act tough. And every time he tries to act tough, it backfires. Remember, the, the, the drawing the red line? Don't you cross that line, buddy. They don't cross this line. I mean it this time. <laughs> but so, so now he's expelled these 35 Russian diplomats. The problem for Obama here comes the backfire part. <laughs> They're in New York. It's a sanctuary city. <laughs> you can't touch us, Obama. <laughs> pajama people. It's a pajama people special. Mother sings a lullaby to a child. Now I would like to revisit these hate crimes. You know, the category of hate crimes is just uh, unnecessary social social justice warriorism. <laughs> it is, uh, uh, but 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 it places unnecessary burdens on our justice system. A system that's complicated enough without adding emotional adjectives. Really? So instead of focusing on the crime, you have people arguing over the emotional motivation before a trial? It's insane. But our social justice liberal media, they love these hate crimes. Well, well as long as it's against uh, white people, conservatives, or Christians. But our media won't even hesitate to report the, the fake news stories like, remember, the Trump supporters that burnt down the black church. Didn't happen. Well, what about the, the, the Muslim chick in New York who claimed the Trump supporters ripped off her burqa hijab thingy and yeah that didn't happen either no, 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 no. but when they actually do have a hate crime like when the like these four depraved uh, individuals in chicago these black uh torturing this white special needs kid listen to how cbs news reported it it sounds like uh white trump supporters were torturing a black kid the viral video of a beating and knife attack in Chicago suggests the assault had racial overtones. CBS's Dean Reynolds tells us the victim is described as a mentally challenged teenager. Smack, 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 Smack him again! Smack. In the video, he is choked and repeatedly called the N-word. His clothes are slashed and he is terrorized with a knife. His alleged captors repeatedly reference Donald Trump. Police are holding four people in connection with the attack. And Don Lemon, one of the, the talking heads over at CNN, the home of true journalism, he says it wasn't a hate crime, it was just bad parenting. Bad parenting. <laughs> to which Ann Coulter humorously retorted, I can't thank my parents enough for teaching me that it's wrong to kidnap and torture people. <laughs> Ann's funny. Uh, I still, I mean, I borrow a lot of stuff from Ann. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Danger Man, the urban superhero, and I am, I support this announcement. This part of the White House is so iconic. It's my favorite. I don't know how to love him.
name dropping but Sarah Palin has been watching the show governor thank you so much she asked people to share it I knew I always liked her yes I did well governor if you're watching this one bless your heart thank you so much you can come on the show anytime you know back in 2008 when Sarah was McCain's running mate and they were just the media was just viciously attacking her they were going through her garbage they were attacking her kids including the cool little dude. I was in my basement in Kansas City watching this stuff and I was I was so outraged and nobody stood up for her. Not a single one of the so-called men in the Republican Party stood up for Sarah Palin. But you know what? This is when America learned what a, what a bunch of P-words the Republicans really were. And a lot of them still are. Without a shoot, how can Captain America hope to survive such a tremendous fall? Not since Richard Nixon has the National Press Corps been so determined to bring someone down. You know what? Cable news is poison. <laughs> it's poison. And, and CNN, I don't even know how they continue to be recognized as a news organization. It, it was Listen, a bunch of mediocre when, Negroes being dragged in front of TV as a photo op for Donald Trump's exploitative campaign against black people. And who in the hell thought that hiring George Costanza's stunt double as the face of CNN was a good idea? It's not a lie, if you believe it. Hey, they get these snot-nosed kids straight out of college, don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. And they're lecture us. They pop that eyebrow. <laughs> I mean, really, does his dad like own the place, or did somebody lose a bet? <laughs> we have in America is that every American, even liberals, has this God-shaped hole in their heart. And they try to fill it up with nonsense. It's God-shaped for a reason. By almost every measure, America is a better, stronger place than it was when we started. By almost every measure, America is a better, stronger place than it was when we started. By almost every measure, America is a better, stronger place than it was when we started. A better, stronger place than it was when we started. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! So here we are. Hold on. Put on your seat belts. Grab a helmet. We're about to begin a journey on this exciting new era in American history. Oh, it's going to be cool. And electing Trump was an awesome, awesome first step because he, he's determined and he's going to pave the road for us. But this is our time to make hay. Uh, you know, we almost lost our country. And I doubt very much history will reflect just how close we came. See, Ronald Reagan told us what to do, and we did it. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. Thanks, Ronnie. Thank you very much. But it's domestic warfare. The enemy is within. Make no mistake. Christians and conservatives can no longer be passive about our media. 
which is the direct cause of the rapid corrosion of our morals and our ethics. And like it or not, it's the media that shapes our culture. It's true. So while our government's going through its transformation under Trump, so will the way Americans digest media, and we better have a hand in shaping how they do it, or we're gonna end up with more racist political crap like, like they put on the networks now, like this ABC show, Blackish. This is comedy, really? As long as she knows that a vote for Trump is a vote for racism. Yeah, well, if, what? Well, yeah, I'm racist. Yeah. I'm a Since when is entertainment attacking half the country? These pompous lefties. See, they claim to know what's in everybody's hearts. They claim to know what's in my heart and in your heart. And what do they do? What do they focus on? They focus on what divides people. That's what they do. It's identity politics. It's pitting people against each other. You see, we as Christians, we don't operate that way. We love everybody. And contrary to liberal propaganda, yes, we even love Muslims and gays. We, we profoundly disagree. And, and with Takia, who could ever trust Muslims? I'm sorry. Uh, but Phil Robertson said it best. Our culture has accepted two massive lies. The first is that if you disagree with somebody's lifestyle, then you must fear or hate them. The second is that if you love someone, that means you agree with everything they believe or do. Both are total nonsense. You don't have to compromise convictions to be compassionate and, and, and love your neighbor. But see, we need a media that reflects this value system. And you can do it without being preachy. That's what I've been trying to do. Shovel ready was not as uh, <laughs> shovel ready as we expected. Anyway. Before we go, I got a couple of prayer requests, and that's another perk of being a Christian. When you put your trust in Him and you pray for the right things, the right thing always happens. Now, it may not be what you were planning for, but it's always the best thing. Anyway, number one, my landlord is not renewing my lease. So I need your prayers that I can quickly find a new home that can also serve as a studio for intellectual frog legs. Emphasis on cheap. The second prayer request. Six years ago, I got butchered by a dentist in Kansas City at one of those franchises called My Dentist. Among the highlights, a botched root canal, damaged crowns, and they even pulled the wrong tooth. Yeah, <laughs> great job. So I need your prayers if Frog Legs can secure enough bonuses and tips that we can handle the entire thing at one time. That's what we need to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Please head over to the website, subscribe to the show alerts, and donate if you can. And if you're too broke to donate, that's all right. We're probably cousins. Please share the show with everybody you can. And I hope you'll come back for the next spine-tingling episode of Intellectual Frog Legs. God bless and congratulations, President Trump. Trump. <laughs> Trump. Tall building that shouts my name Tell my stylist to give me that hair And no one is like to be a billionaire I get politics right out the door Cause we're not gonna take it anymore I get my picture on the cover of time And everybody else just waiting in line I wanna be like The Donald Trump I wanna be like The Donald Trump I wanna be like The Donald Trump America great again, and I'll never give up to stand back and watch me win. Hey, hey, hey. Trump. 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 Tr
to where she belongs I can build a wall down on the border We gotta bring back some law and order Maybe hold a rally and people would come Cause everybody knows I can get it done I would need no money from lobbyists I'd speak from the heart and tell it like it is I wanna be like, I wanna be like The Donald Trump I wanna be like The Donald Trump Great again, then I'll never give up to stand back and watch me win. Trump, give it to the Don. Trump, Trump, give it to the Don. Trump, come on, come on. If you're feeling inspired, come on, come on. If you're sick and you're tired. Say it with me now, 